So here we are behind the scenes at the Everything for Everybody project and we're in the Birmingham archives at the moment looking at the Shakespeare Memorial Library collection. And one of the original aims when the library was founded um, in the 1800s was to collect everything ever printed about Shakespeare because they were Victorians and that's what they did. Obviously it's changed over the last kind of century or so, but it means we have a lot of exciting books to look at. And so we thought we'd show you some of them as well as many, many editions of the complete works of William Shakespeare. We have lots of individual versions of the plays, ranging from quartos that were printed in the 1600s to manga versions of Shakespeare's plays printed a few versions a few years ago. So, and if you come this way, here are all the Hamlets, so, which I think is pretty exciting. So. As I said, we've got lots and lots of different versions. Some of them are very old. Here, we have a version by Alexander Pope from 1731. Now, it's been rebound since joining the collection. And one of the exciting things about being a librarian, if you're very nerdy like me, is that you get to see the history of each book as it's been in the collection. So, we've got a note here to say that it was rebound in 1911 and a Birmingham library ticket, because the whole point of the library collection is that it belonged to the citizens of Birmingham and still does. So we've got Birmingham Free Libraries, and then a little handwritten note from 1950, where they clearly did some revising of the collection, to say that it had been mislabeled, and it is not, in fact, the first Irish Hamlet. I'm not sure what that means, but it's quite interesting. And so there we go. Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, a tragedy, written by Mr William Shakespeare, revised by Mr Pope.